peace, 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 peace. We're going to give folks a second. I'm a little early. I hope you're doing well on this beautiful Wednesday evening. Doing well on this day, bro. Because they've been struggling to tamper with the profits information presented. Yeah, wait, this call. It's making them think that they were separated from the land. However, one of the things that was done by one of the adepts of the Moorish Iran National Movement, who set up um, humanitarian classes and schools in Ohio and Cleveland, uh, Charles Mosley Bay, and dealing with the issues of... Uh, it's, I think it's giving an echo. I'll have to do that later. Check, check, check. Can you hear me out there? Peace, peace, peace. It's live. Am I coming in a little bit better now? I want to make sure I'm uh, coming in clear before I get started. I got a lot of things to get to. Um, if somebody, uh, if you can hear me good, somebody just let me know something in the chat right quick. Um, peace, peace, peace. I'm Rami Salam El. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Uh, the Zodiac Constitution, Taj Tariq Bay, and the rise of the Moors. The problem with the Moors is, oh my goodness, we're going to get to it. We're going to cover the Zodiac Constitution. We have an article from the ADL. We are going to cover the Clock of Destiny, which is the organization that was created by CM Bay. Uh, we also are going to touch on Taj Tariq Bay and his teachings. Uh, swing around to the rise of the Moors because they are connected in this as well. Um, and then we're going to talk about the problem with the Moors. And more importantly, the solution. You know what I mean? Because it's not just, it's not good just to talk about the problem if you can't provide the solution. Uh, let's see. With that being said, Actually, before I even get started, let me let me show love to um, get the channel right real quick. This brother that I stumbled on to the to his channel recently, but you know, Allah is the best of planners. Little more order, I think it was. I'm just trying to get the link so I can make sure. Okay, yeah. Boom! Well, I dropped that in the chat. Boom, it's this uh brother, this brother got a channel called New More Order. New More Order. Um, and he had brought up the Zodiac Constitution and CM Bay Moors. And uh it's something that I never really delved that deep into, just being honest with you. Um, but he was asking some questions and he was bringing up some things that made me take a step back and think about it. I said, man, I never really, I never really did an a in-depth study on the Zodiac Constitution like I should have. So I doubled back. I started to scan through it, and some some glaring issues popped out. And we're gonna get there. Um, but I just wanted to show love to that brother because, um, you know, even though his delivery is a bit uh, different than mine. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate the information and I appreciate the questions. And uh, and I also want to say any true Moorish American out there, any any real Moor, um, you shouldn't shy away from um, honest and sincere criticism or people that have questions about our beliefs or our culture or our history or this more science. Um, if people have sincere questions, uh, listen to the question and really think about it. Uh, because sometimes, uh, you know, good questions can reveal a whole lot that you may have missed uh, one, two, or five times uh, beforehand. 
Um, so with that being said, let me get into the Zodiac Constitution. Oh, man, so I looked I looked up the Zodiac Constitution and I dropped the link in there earlier. Matter of fact, let me I could pin that. Boom. So I pinned that in the chat and I drop um I'll drop all these links in the description later on so you can check it out. But I open up the Zodiac Constitution. Very clear on the front is by C.M. Bay, Charles Mosley Bay. Um, and then it has a preface, you know, to the Zodiac Constitution. And the preface was written by Taj Tariq Bay, a free moor, a son of a widow, M-D-N-M, M-S-T of A, M-O-O-D-R, G-S-N-A-M-A, she Chabi Territory Northwest of Mexico. That's all of the things that are listed underneath Taj Tariq Bay's name. But I just found it really interesting that Taj Tariq Bay wrote the preface to this Zodiac Constitution document. And I'll just read, you know, I'll read some pieces of it. I, I encourage you to read it for yourself. Don't believe me. This is not here to get you to, to convince you of anything. This is, I'm only presenting the information. And it's my duty, really, and my obligation, um, really, to get this information out to the people um, and also to clarify and correct some of the past mistakes. You know what I mean? It's no secret that I used to, uh, you know, promote and vouch for Todd Street Bay because it was a lot of good information. But no one's perfect. You know what I mean? No one's above criticism. And the more I began to look more closely at things, some it's some critical issues that we got to put on the table and discuss if we being real. You feel me? But let me get back to it. The Zodiac Constitution. In the uh, preface, it says, more adepts, more scientists, master masons. This is key. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment, but just, just take note. Master masons. Eastern stars, sheik, sheikesses, neophytes, great seal, PhDs, LLDs, the erudite of jurisprudence, um, amanusis, amanusis, masters, and world scholars have studied and marveled upon analyzing the written zodiac constitution. This highly qualified document was penned by C.M. Bay, a third, 33rd, and 360 degree free Moorish Mason, master Mason, master astrologer, PhD, LLD, and constitution law giver. This master work was copyrighted and registered in the Library of Congress Copyright Office and with the Department of Justice at Washington, D.C., United States Republic of North America. Just want to make it clear, it says it right from the jump, that this document was written by C.M. Bay, who is a master mason, 333rd, 360 degrees. It addresses master mason and eastern stars in the beginning. Doesn't say Moorish Americans, just to clarify. It's very important as we continue on. Um, I wanted to go down to the bottom here. Right here. Um, uh, no, not that part. Oh, I wanted to go to the article, article two, excuse me. So just to be clear, the Zodiac Constitution written by CM Bay, the preface was written by Taj Tariq Bay, addressing master masons and eastern stars. I want to, I want to scroll down to article two. And it's very important we just pay attention to things. Um, Article 2 of the Zodiac Constitution. Since the 12 jurymen and the 50 Union States Magna Charter document of white supremacy and the nine judges of their Supreme Court were founded upon our more Zodiac 12 signs mathematical constitution, the lawmakers have no jurisdiction over the free Moors, the Bays and Ls, 
in the inherited land of the Moorish nation, namely USA, Canada, Central and South America. Pause for a moment. I wanna just make sure that, am I coming through clear? Am I coming through clear? I hope people are being able to hear me. I'm coming through clearly. I hope I, I hope we're listening. It speaks about the lawmakers of the 12 jurymen of the 50 Union States Magna Charta document of white supremacy and the nine judges of their Supreme Court were founded upon our Morse Zodiac 12 signs, mathematical constitution, the lawmakers. This is a reference. Okay, this is a thank you. Thank you, Links. This is a reference to the, the, the USA, the government. The lawmakers have no jurisdiction over the free Moors, the bays and ales in the inherited land of the Moorish nation, namely the USA, Canada, Central and South America. The reason I'm highlighting this is because this is the Zodiac Constitution written by C.M. Bay. Not Noble Drew Ali. Let's be very clear on that. C.M. Bay wrote this Zodiac Constitution, and this is where this argument of jurisdiction was introduced, as far as my studies can tell. Why is that important? Because now in 2022, when you think about, when you look up, when you research into Moors, we are unfortunately associated with quote unquote sovereign citizens and this argument over jurisdiction. But it's not just that, let me continue. Article three, <clears throat> tax and military exemption for Moorish Americans. Pause. Again, this is the Zodiac Constitution written by C.M. Bay with the preface written by Taj Tariq Bay. And here is where the introduction of the idea of being exempt from taxes is again introduced and connected to Moors. Noble Dry Lee didn't have that in the divine constitution that was prepared by Noble Dry Lee. And we'll get to that in the end, just so that we can have a, a reference. So you can, you're hearing what it's talking about now. Article two of the Zodiac constitution is talking about how the USA, they don't have the lawmakers has no jurisdiction over free Moors. That's that jurisdiction argument. Article three, let me read it for you. <clears throat> The lawmakers of the 48 states union cannot, uh, or, uh, union, excuse me, the lawmakers of the 48 states union order cannot force the Moors, the Bays and Ales to pay taxes because taxation without representation is a supreme violation of the Moors Zodiac constitution birthrights of Islam. Whoa. The lawmakers of the 48 states union order cannot force the Moors, the Bays and Ells to pay taxes because it's a violation of the Moorish Zodiac constitution. This is coming from CM Bay. Again, not from Noble Drali. Got to make that distinction clear because here is the introduction of this idea where Moors do not have to pay taxes. Noble Drali did not say that. In fact, there's an article that I'll read where Noble Dry Lee introduced taxes within the Moore Science Temple of America. So the idea that Moors don't have to pay taxes doesn't make sense just based off of the things that Noble Dry Lee taught. But let me focus real quick. Um, <clears throat> Um, I just wanted to highlight Article 5 is introducing, well, I don't even want to get into that. I don't even want to get, let me not even, let me just stick to the simple idea of this introduction of jurisdiction 
and the lawmakers, the U.S. government, USA government, not having jurisdiction over the Moors, and also this idea of taxes and Moors not having to pay taxes. Again, introduced here by C.M. Bay through his Zodiac Constitution, not Noble Drew Ali. And now I've seen some comments real quick. Peace, peace, peace. R Ricky Slums, top of the evening. Peace, uh, El Atlas Bay. Peace, peace, peace. Let me drop this link in here. This is Clock of Destiny, the organization created by CM Bay. Clockofdestiny.com. You can check it out for yourself. But I'm dropping a link in there. Boom. This is um, the, bi the biography, uh, the brief history, excuse me, of Charles Mosley Bay, also CM Bay. <clears throat> I wanted to just read some things here. Wanted to, to just read. Ah, here we go. CM Bay's teachings were prepared especially for the Black Masons and black eastern stars based on Cl clock of destiny books and certain materials it was a private organization and still is i'm gonna read that sentence one more time okay cm bay's teachings the zodiac constitution for example were prepared especially for the black masons and Black Eastern Stars, based on Clock of Destiny books and certain materials. It was a private organization and still is. Now, it's a clip that I, I wanted to play for you, but I just, I can paraphrase and I'll drop the link in so you can see for yourself. Starts about at the five minute 20 mark. It's Todd Street Bay speaking about CM Bay and saying that he was a part of the Moorish divine and national movement. But here clearly on the Clock of Destiny website, in the brief history of CM Bay, it says on his website that he was a part of, the Clock of Destiny is a private organization. His teachings were for Black Masons and Black Eastern stars. That's not what Noble Dr. Ali was about. That's not what the Morris Divine and National Movement was about and is about. So Taj Tariq Bey was incorrect in that statement. Furthermore, Taj Tariq Bey goes on and says that CM Bey put the clock of death, I mean the uh, Zodiac Constitution in the Library of Congress to protect the Moors teachings. I didn't read the full Zodiac Constitution, but I would like for you to, anyone that's watching, and see if you can find anywhere in that Zodiac Constitution the mention of Noble Dr. Ali. That Zodiac Constitution, it's not, matter of fact, Matter of fact, what I just seen, Clock of Destiny, 1947, on the same website. I'll drop the link in there. Drop the link in there because we get into the facts. Clock of Destiny, Moore Zodiac, Great Seal Constitution. Great Seal Constitution. This is CM Bay's Moore's Constitution for members only and it does not pertain to other Moorish groups. I'm gonna read that again. This is CM Bay's Moorish constitution for members only. Members only of what group? The Clock of Destiny, a private organization. And it does not pertain to the other Moorish groups, like the Moorish Science Temple of America, for example. This Zodiac constitution isn't for the Moore Science Temple of America, or Moorish Americans. It's for the private members only of the Clock of Destiny private organization. 
this for black masons and black eastern stars. Why am I highlighting this though? Taj Tariq Bey is the one that was pushing this information as if it was Noble Drew Ali's teachings. As if this is what Noble Drew Ali wanted us to know. Noble Drew Ali, look in the, 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 the circ, Quran Circle 7. Look in the uh, uh, Quran questions for Moorish Americans. Look in the Moorish literature. And please point out where Noble Drew Ali one time has a sentence saying the USA government, the US government, lawmakers, um, or any sort of inference like that, they don't have jurisdiction over Moorish Americans. You won't be able to find it because he never said it. That's something that CM Bay introduced and Taj Tariq Bay promoted and taught as if that was some teachings from Noble Dry Lee passed through CM Bay. But it was not. It was incorrect. Now, why? That's for Taj Tariq Bay. That's for that the brother to explain. I don't know. But I am here to say that that's incorrect. That this Zodiac Constitution is not what Noble Dry Lee taught in any way, shape, or form. And it's not my belief. Let me read you. Let's move to the Zod- I mean to the divine constitution. And the divine constitution was is what was brought by Novo Ali. Am I making sense so far? If anybody got any questions, please drop them in. I'm here to answer any questions. We here to build. You know what I mean? I hope I'm I'm um, putting the sources down. I'm hoping you're hearing me fine. This is the divine constitution and bylaws for the Moore Science Temple of America, the organization that Noble Drew Ali created. It says on Act 4, all members pre- must preserve these holy and divine laws and... All members must obey the laws of the government. It says nothing about the government not having jurisdiction over Moorish Americans. Quite the contrary. Let me read it again in case you didn't hear me. It says all members must preserve these holy and divine laws. So there's holy and divine laws that we got to preserve. We got to adhere to. And, And so addition to that. We must obey all the laws of the government. And it goes on to say, because by being a Moorish American, you are part and parcel of the government and must live the life accordingly. We are not separate from the government. We are not sovereign citizens. We are not sovereign um, nationals. Noble Drali never used a term sovereign national or sovereign citizen. In our divine constitution, it says for us to obey the laws of the government. Not that the laws of the government don't apply to us. No, that we're to obey the laws. So you see, when you listen to the divine, when you see the divine constitution, and read it for yourself, don't believe me. But when you read the divine constitution, you see it saying obey the laws of the government. The Zodiac Constitution that was created by CM Bay says they don't have no jurisdiction over Moors. Noble Drew Ali's divine constitution, obey the laws of the government. CM Bay's Zodiac Constitution, all them laws don't apply. Do you see what's going on? Let me continue further. It goes on further. Act 5, it says, this organization of the Moore Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. So, the divine constitution talks about individuals as members saying we got to obey the laws of the government. And then it goes a step further and says the organization as a collective obeys the laws of the government. So it just doubled down on you. It ain't no wiggle room about this. Um, Let 
that, that was the other thing that I wanted to introduce. Sorry, I got a little worked up. On the just further, just further to highlight, and the brother, you know, the new more order brother had um, spoke on it, and it's something that I have been thinking about for a while now. On the back of the Quran questions for Moorish Americans, it has our authority. And our authority is uh, the document that Noble Dr. Ali submitted to the state of Illinois, obeying the laws of the government, not just the federal government, but the state government as well. Because sometimes Moors try to say, oh, well, we just, you know, we just nationals, but the states don't have jurisdiction. But Noble Drew Ali himself was obeying the laws of the government by registering the organization through the laws or uh, adherence to the laws of the state of Illinois. Don't believe me? Don't believe me? Look it up for yourself. Man knows nothing by being told. Man knows not by being told. I don't want you to believe me. I'm not trying to convince you. What I am doing is providing the information and I want to get some clarity. I want to make it real dis distinct and clear what Noble Dry Lee taught versus what CM Bay and what now I'm seeing is the extension Taj Tariq Bay. And by that extension, the rise of the Moors. Let me get to it. Why am I bringing up rise of the Moors? Why? Did, what do they have to do with it, Rami? Am I picking on them? No, I'm not. All due respect. But I had seen this as I'm doing the reporting some, uh, you know, some weeks ago or whenever. Let's see when this article was. September 28th, 2001. So this article came out September 28th, 2001. I mean, tw uh, 2021, excuse me. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Pardon me. The article came out September 28th, 2021. And I remember this is something that, uh, an ability I just happened to pick up and, and realize I have. If something seems out of place, I may notice it, but I don't know what it's for, so I just make a mental note. And it just kind of hangs in my mind for a minute. Then I seen another one. I was like, oh, that's interesting. And now it's all kind of coming together and connecting the dots. But let me not just talk it. Let me show and prove. Um, boom. I dropped a link in there, but I'm going to read the name of the article so you can see for yourself. This is on wcvb.com, ABC. Um, the article is named Three Rise of the Moors Members Charged in Hours Long Standoff along I-95 in Wakefield appear in court. And I am reading this article because though the three men, it was Stephen Perez, AKA Lucha El Por Libertad, Aaron Lamont Johnson, AKA Tarif Sharif Bay, and Aaron J. Jimenez, AKA Aban El Kurig. Um, let me just find it real quick. Boom. It says here um, the three defendants arraigned Tuesday submitted dozens of pieces of evidence, including a printout of the Moroccan flag and a document entitled the Zodiac Constitution. So, this Rise of the Moors Wakefield standoff case. Three of those Rise of the Moors uh, militia group members entered in this document, this Zodiac Constitution that came from CM Bay and, you know, by way of Taj Tariq Bay and, and his um, teachings on down through the Rise of the Moors militia group is now is being entered in the evidence in their case and associated with Moors. But that document, that Zodiac Constitution has nothing to do with the Moors Science Temple of America. It's for private members. Um, um, uh, what did they say? Clock of Destiny. Uh, it's um, for members only, a private organization. It doesn't pertain to the other Moorish groups. So this Zodiac Constitution shouldn't be associated or uh, in any way associated or connected with the Moorish Science Temple of America or any other Moorish group for that matter. Only Clock of Destiny members, because that's what it's for. But you see the confusion. 
And this comes by way of the teachings. If you just follow it back. And I'm not, and I'm not, and it's not just those three. Let me drop this other article on you real quick. Hajj Online. What said government though? Um Hajj Online, what question what said government in terms of obeying? I think it would be whatever government that you live under. Um, but when this was created, they were in the United States of America, so it will be that said government. But I'm dropping that article on you. And this is from universalhub.com. This was on the 5th of, uh, uh, just the 5th of January, uh, 2022. More sovereign citizen who drove up from Arkansas to support co-religionists arrested after the armed standoff on 128 is suing for 70 million because she wound up arrested on gun charges too. That's the name of the article. But what's important is what's in the article. And it says down at the uh, the very last paragraph, in her complaint, full of references to the to an 18th century treaty with Morocco, the supposed independent Moorish nation that is the true owner of the land on either side of the Mississippi and that sovereign nation's zodiac constitution, Bay, um, Yanga Bay is the person that this article is about, Bay alleges she has the right to drive as she wishes and that even though she is Moors, the Second Amendment gives her the right to possess whatever weapons she wishes. wishes. A, similar, a similar argument made by the men arrested on I-28 or 128, I-28. Um, so, the, so the troopers should have simply let her go home to Little Rock and been snappy about it. But since they didn't and they weren't, she now demands 70 million in damages. The point of that, me reading that, was that here, um, this is a case where it's another uh, individual. This person is a supporter of the Rise of the Moors group. Um, she drove up there to one of their course dates, ended up getting arrested. Um, and as a, a subsequently, or um, you know, in terms of the legal process, she submitted uh, the Zodiac Constitution. Again, here comes the introduction to this Zodiac Constitution based on, I, I presume, I'm almost sure her argument is no jurisdiction over me because I'm a Moor. I'm a free Moor, which is in the Zodiac Constitution. But again, that's for that private organization, members only, that has nothing to do with the other Moorish groups. It's for, quote unquote, Black uh, Masons and Black Eastern Stars. The divine constitution is for Moorish Americans, created by Nobu Ali. The Zodiac constitution is for members of the Clock of Destiny, a private organization uh, created by CM Bay and promoted by Taj Tariq Bay. There's a difference, a very distinct difference. I just want to make that clear, but also I want uh, the Moors that are watching, true Moorish Americans, to see the fruit that the tree is bearing. The Zodiac Constitution, the fruit of that tree has been people getting arrested. That's You see it being referenced at, after they've been arrested. Apparently, you know, I don't, I don't know what they believe, but matter of fact, speaking of that, I almost forgot why I'm getting off track. Let me quit talking. Speaking of that, boom. This is, I just dropped the link into ADL, um, the Anti Defamation League, ADL.org. They have a document called the Sovereign Citizen Movement Common Documentary Identifiers and Examples. So it goes through a whole breakdown, gives different examples of, of quote unquote sovereign citizens. What I want to read to you is this one paragraph real quickly. Sovereign citizen ideology in a nutshell claims that well over a century ago, an insidious cons conspiracy began to infiltrate and subvert the original legitimate de jure government slowly replacing it with an illegitimate, tyrannical, de facto government. 
I want to pause for a second. Moors, Moors Americans out there, if you're being honest with yourself, if we are being honest with ourselves, we've heard those terms before. De jure government, de facto government. But it didn't come from Noble Dry Lee. Noble Dry Lee never once used de jure government, de facto government. It did stem from somewhere and from someone. Let me continue reading. People who discover this fact can take certain steps to divorce themselves from the illegitimate government, becoming sovereign citizens. And once they have done so, they are essentially immune to the laws, rules, regulations, taxes, and courts of the illegitimate government, which has no jurisdiction over them. Where have we heard that language? The Zodiac Constitution by CM Bay. Now, I didn't make this sovereign citizen, citizen uh, document up. It's not, I didn't put those words there. I just want to make you aware of the language that's in this document. And then just consider what is the language in the document of the Zodiac Constitution. I highlighted two things, jurisdiction and taxes. Here it says sovereign citizen, sovereign citizen ideology in a nutshell is becoming immune to the laws, rules, regulation, taxes, and the courts of the government which have no jurisdiction over them. You see the clear connection. But don't believe me, click the link. It'll be in this, the description. If you're not watching live, you can read it for yourself. Don't believe me. Again, it's not for belief. I'm not trying to convince you. But I am wanting, I do want to inform people. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, and this is why I wanted to read this document and I had to, you know, show respect because this this last paragraph is very important. Listen, listen very closely. Just because a document makes a reference to Moors or things that are Moorish, for example, the Moorish American Zodiac Constitution does not mean that it is sovereign citizen in nature, but I want to pause for a second. The Moorish American Zodiac Constitution is a oxymoron. That is incorrect. And it's a result of Taj Tariq Bey teaching and expressing and promoting and others that learn from him about this Zodiac Constitution as if it came from uh, or for Moorish Americans from the teachings of Nobu Drali by way of CM Bay. But the truth is that the, the Zodiac Constitution is for Clock of Destiny members only, not for other Moorish American groups, not for other Moorish groups, including the Moorish Science Temple of America. But let me continue reading. It says, does not mean that it is a sovereign citizen, uh, sovereign citizen in nature. Adherents of the Moorish Science Temple religious sect who are not sovereign citizens may sometimes also create documents that themselves are pseudo legal or pseudo historical in nature. Sometimes it may take effort to determine if an if an if an individual is a more sovereign citizen, a more science temple adherent, or actually both. Similarly, someone with the suffix l or bay after their name need not necessarily be a more sovereign citizen, but could simply be an adherent of the more science temple. There is considerable overlap between the religious sect and the extremist movement, despite the efforts of many more science temple adherents to warn their co-religionists away from the sovereign citizen movement. But it is no, by no means a complete overlap. Care should be taken to avoid confusing someone who may only be an adherent of the religious sect with someone who is truly a sovereign citizen. So I had to show some respect to the ADL because this, I mean, it is the last paragraph, but they made it very clear that just because you have an L or a Bay does not make you a more sovereign citizen. And that there is some overlap in the teachings between people that are um, more science temple adherents or, or uh, what did it say? Between the religious sect and the extremist movement. 
So there's uh, overlapping information between this extremist movement, right, where it speaks about not having jurisdiction over them, not having to pay taxes, being able to do whatever you want, not have to answer anybody. That's the extremist movement. And the religious sect, which is the more Science Temple, Noble Jaralee's teachings, there's overlap. And why is there overlap? Because we haven't made the distinction. Because there's been individuals with, you know, within the Moorish movement or claiming to be a part of the Moorish movement that have been teaching this clock of destiny information as if it's Moorish American information or as if it's for um, people that are followers of Noble Jaralee. And it is not. And so we have to make that that line in the sand very clear. You know I mean, and that's partly why, you know, I, I decided to come on here and do that is or do that. This is so that we can be clear. So more is out there, especially people, new Moors, people that are just kind of coming into this information. Maybe people have heard um, this information before, seen the Zodiac Constitution, heard about Moors, uh, you know, the government not having jurisdiction. Well, now you understand where those teachings stem from. It stems from a dude that called himself a master mason. They created a private organization for black masons and black eastern stars. Noble Dry Lee created an organization for the so-called Negroes, blacks, colors, and ultimately anyone who wants to learn the principles of love, true peace, freedom, and justice. But the teachings were to help teach us who we are and return us to our creed. And that's also what I wanted to to uh, to highlight as I started really kind of reflecting on all of this. What I noticed and what I started to think about is the lack of mention and the lack um, of focus, not only on Noble Jali, but also on the law. You know what I mean? And, you know, I just think it's very important, Moors out there, Moorish Americans out there, that we follow the teachings of Noble Jali because he is the prophet or a prophet. You know what I mean? Not CM Bay, not Taj Tariq Bay, not any of the people that are following those individuals. Noble Jali is the one that created the Moore Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitution and Bylaws. Right? That's that organization, that foundation. Those are the teachings we should be following. The, these, these teachings of, oh, the government doesn't have jurisdiction over us. Uh, we don't uh, Moors don't gotta pay taxes. That's not for us. That's not for Moorish Americans or people, uh, the members of the Moore Science Temple of America, or followers of Noble Drew Ali, even if you're not in the organization. If you just follow Noble Drew Ali's teachings, you should make sure that you stay clear to, of, of those arguments about jurisdiction and taxes. Because that's not for us. That's for a different organization created by a dude for a different purpose. I think that was um I think that was like the main points that I, I kinda wanted to get across to you all. More actually means Hajj online. More actually means Mason. Uh nah. I mean you, you could you're entitled to your opinion with all due respect. You know what I mean? Much res you know, you can believe what you want to believe. I don't agree with that, but, you know, respect. Um, is there any questions? Is there any questions that are not clear on something? You know what I mean? Any taxes? I went over the divine constitution, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 just to highlight again, the divine constitution. The last line here: This divine covenant is from your holy prophet Noble Jali through the guidance of his father God Allah. You know what I mean? Understanding who's really who's really at work. You know what I mean? It's the one. 
You know what I mean? Some people say Allah. Some people say, you know, our creator, the most high. My understanding is it's that one. Not, you know, master, Freemason, 360 degrees or whatever that science is. I'm not involved in that. I don't know anything about that. I'm following Noble Dralee's teachings. That's what we supposed to be on as Moorish Americans. I think I just seen some. Peace, peace, peace. Man, I don't see I don't see any questions. I feel like we're clear. And yeah, what about oh see and also the Clock of Destiny had their own nationality card. It says, what about the Clock of Destiny nationality card? Going back to Clock of Destiny website. It says, this card pertains to a private organization that has been copyrighted with the Moore Zodiac Constitution since 1994. These were revised cards prepared by CM Bay. Mm. In summary, as a private organization, it does not concern the public. Mm. <clears throat> Come on, dog. You can't play around with this movement, man. You cannot play around with this movement. Um, let me close that out. Um, that's what's up, Hodge Online. That's what's up. Um, but again, you know, oh, you know, a matter of fact, just so I'm clear, I forgot to make the connection. One second. Because there's plenty of um, videos that you can see of Tyre Street Bay speaking on jurisdiction and the U.S. government or the colonial, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, not having jurisdiction. And, you know, we are not obligated or we don't have to pay taxes. Saying it, that's why I meant to look up the thing on taxes real quick. Praise the Lord for that memory idea. But I wanted to, I wanted to show and prove on some documentation as well from Tyre Street Bay. So this is more it's the oh, what is God? Um uh, Moorish Holy Temple of Science and MST of A degrees. Okay. By Tyre Street Bay. And you know it has pictures of Noble Dry Lee right on the inside. And then when you flip open to page 19 I don't know if you can see that. Jurisdiction, where he's teaching jurisdiction, but it's under MSTA, MST of A, Moore's Holy Temple of Science degrees. That's the that's the name of the book. But you know, that jurisdiction, see, jurisdiction, he has uh personum jurisdiction, subject matter jurisdiction, um, And it speaks about all Moorish Americans must be aware of the fact that subject matter jurisdiction may be challenged at any time. It can be challenged before a trial, during a trial, after a trial. So I just wanted to highlight here, excuse me, here in this book is documentation of Taj Tariq Bay under the banner of Moore Science Temple of America teaching this idea of jurisdiction, which came from CM Bay and the Zodiac Constitution and the Clock of Destiny, which is a private organization for Masons and Eastern Star, Black Masons and Eastern Stars, and has nothing to do with other Moorish groups. So it should have never been mis, you know, remixed into MST of A degrees or MST of A or Moorish Holy Temple of Science teachings. This whole idea of jurisdiction or not paying taxes. And just to close it out, temple tax is necessary. Because of the fact that expense of the operation of the temple, the more science temple, 
is increasing so fast that it was found necessary to vote a tax to the profit to carry on the work. This idea was concurred with by the Supreme Grand Council. And I don't even want to get into all of that. But if you just look up Supreme Grand Council, you can see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're going to get there. But I wanted to highlight the thing about the taxes. the per, And then they, ins they installed a per capita tax that applied to every member. No matter what rank or whatever, everybody had to pay a quarter. So it was fair to everybody. My point in saying this is they established a temple tax, a tax within the Moore Science Temple of America. So it doesn't make sense that they would then, that Noble Dwali would then teach, oh, but we don't have to pay taxes to the, to the government that it says for us to obey in our divine constitution. Come on, family. Come on. We just got to be real about this. You know, uh, all due respect to elders and, and teachers that came before and Taj and people that have followed and echoed his teachings. But we got to be correct. We got to be, we got to be right and exact on this. And those teachings was incorrect. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's kind of all I got. Is there any other questions before I get up out of here? If you, you know, if you're watching this after the fact, drop the questions in the, the comment um, section. I'll be there. You know what I mean? Just, hey, if you, if you have um, a disagreement, you saying, oh, I was incorrect on there. I'm going I'm to have all the links in the description. Please point out where I was incorrect. What? Please point out where Nova Jarlee spoke about jurisdiction or not paying taxes. Or even mention a Zodiac Constitution for that matter. He didn't because it was created by CM Bay for his organization that he was doing his own thing for black uh, Masons and Eastern Stars. And with that, man, I'm, I, I, you know, I don't see no questions. I don't see no questions. Going once, going dos, going tres. Okay, I think I'm going to get up out of here. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you watch live or afterwards, most important, oh, shoot, the the problem with the Moors is. <laughs> The problem with the Moors is we not following the teachings of Noble Jarlee. That's the that's the, that's the simple. It, it comes down to it. We not following the teachings of Noble Jarlee. And what's the solution? Oh, you know it. Come on now. We got to get right, man. We were sent to profit, man. We were sent somebody that came to get us right. All we got to do is follow the teachings. It's that simple. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And like, well, what do you think? What would be the solution? What's the solution to this Zodiac Constitution uh, mix-up? How do we make it clear? How, how else can we further establish that? You let me know in the comment section. Um, do you disagree about the idea of jurisdiction? Is there somewhere that you've seen Nova Jarali talking about jurisdiction? Not your interpretation, but what he actually said? If so, drop that in the comments. Yeah, that's all I got. Much love, keep shining. Most importantly, man, if nothing else, love instead of hate. Love instead of hate. Love is the key. Love is the way. Love to you and yours, even the one that's hating out there. Much love to you and you. Yes, you. And you have a great day. Peace. Islam. Asalaamu Alaikum. Yeah. Ooh.